Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Art Journal Thursday, where we get creative every single Thursday here on this channel. In today's episode, we are going to do the Blob Art Challenge, also called the Stain Art Challenge. I discovered this challenge on a Polish YouTube channel called Ol Olski Ol Olsikova. Olsikova. <laughs> And it looked really fun and I thought, why not do this in our Art Journal Thursday episode? As you might already know, this channel is all about encouraging you guys to get creative, to express yourselves and to just have fun with arts and crafts. And sometimes you have those days where you have no idea what to draw or paint and this challenge is a great way to overcome this phase. This challenge is great because it really makes you think outside the box and get creative. The beginning is really simple. Take some watercolors and create random random shapes onto your paper. Don't think too much or plan anything ahead. Just play around and add the paint to the paper. Just do it randomly and create as many shapes as you want. Once everything is dry, you can go back to your painting, well, painting, well, the shapes, and try to think if you can see something in these shapes. Maybe one shape reminds you of something specific, an object or a person or maybe a character or just something that you know. <laughs> I started with the first shape because it really reminded me of a goldfish. So I took my black fine liner and then just started using this shape to create a fish. But you don't necessarily have to follow the shape and outline it to create the object. But you can also use it as one of the parts for your drawing and painting. Maybe something reminds you of a glass or maybe a dress. So you could, for example, create a person in a dress. And if you see something in the shapes like a fish but have absolutely no idea how a fish actually looks like, it's totally fine to use a reference. I think there's this misconception where people think that you're not allowed to use reference or you might be seen as not a real artist. But guess what? Even the professional, super great artists use reference. Not just because they have no idea what to paint or draw, they just use it because they haven't painted a fish 5 million times yet, so they don't know how a fish looks completely. If you studied an object by drawing it 5 million times, you probably know how to draw it without a reference. But if you just start out, it's totally okay to use a reference to study and to learn and to improve your craft. So don't let people tell you that you suck just because you use a reference. The second blob reminded me of a chicken and here I had no idea how to draw it. I know how chicken look like, but it was still difficult to just draw it from my imagination. So I used a picture and just tried to get an understanding where to draw what. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough space for the head to draw it. So the head looks a little bit weird, but I think the chicken still looks cute. What do you guys think? <laughs> the next blob reminded me of the Woodstock character from the Snoopy cartoon. I don't know if you know this cartoon or heard about it, but for some reason it just reminded me of this character, even though it's not yellow. I really like this challenge because it really makes you think and activate your imagination. And it also makes you learn about different objects, like how to paint and to draw something. The next shape took me a while to figure out what it reminds me of. Then I somehow saw a person in this shape. At first I saw that these lines look a little bit like lips and also the nose. It's kind of difficult to draw it with the right proportions because the lines were different and I tried to use the outlines for the shapes but I think it still looks okay for the first time. Again, it's not about creating a masterpiece. It's all about just to play around with your imagination, think outside the box and just get creative. The next shape was kind of difficult as well because I couldn't see anything in it for a few minutes. So I was just staring at it and thinking, well, this is going to be a fail again. But I somehow managed to see something after all. I tried to take a step back and to try to really think about what it could be. And for some reason, some of the lines reminded me of leaves but at the same time the other shapes didn't remind me of anything and then this cute plant with this cute pot got created <laughs> i think it looks really cute what do you guys think the next shape reminded me of a dragon immediately for some reason the shape was just too similar 
But I think the less familiar the shape is, the more fun it is because it's just more challenging and more fun to really think outside the box and try to figure out what you could create with this blob. <laughs> And I think if it's too easy, it's less rewarding and less fun. But since you can't really control it that much, if you want to make it a challenge, you can't really plan it out, but you can just play around with it and try it out a few times and see how your imagination improved over the time, actually. In the next shape, I totally saw a wizard that was facing the back towards me and even how the paint dried on the paper it kind of reminded me of the hair so i actually used the shape and the lines uh, to create the hair the next shape was pretty difficult as well because i wasn't sure what it reminded me of so it took me a while to think about it but after some thinking i discovered it actually looks like a cartoon seahorse the shapes are totally off and super unrealistic but hey i think you can still see that it's a seahorse <laughs> The next shape was really difficult again and I didn't really see anything else besides a witch or a fairy. The lower part of the shape reminded me of a dress but other than that it was really difficult to come up with something but I think if you draw it this way you kind of see that this is a person, a wizard, a witch, a fairy that just holds something like I don't know like in this case she touches the tree so <laughs> I don't know. Okay, last but not least, the last blob was really difficult and I think my brain is just messed up or I don't know what's wrong with it, but for some reason I saw a chicken dabbing here. It would be awesome to know what you guys saw in these blobs and the splashes, maybe you saw something totally different and I'm curious to know that. And I would really recommend you guys to try out this challenge because it's really fun and it makes you think super creatively and outside the box when you absolutely have no clue what to paint or draw. I really hope you liked this video idea and found it somehow helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up to support this channel. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and to hit on the bell button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload every Thursday and Saturday. Thank you so much for watching guys. Have a wonderful day and I will see you on Saturday. Bye!